Welcome to Rules of Spelling English Words. My name is Joseph. Today, we'll focus on 20 commonly confused words. Let's set sail. Accept. Accept. Accept means to agree to something or to receive something willingly. Example. The lecturer accepted my assignment even though I brought it late. She accepted his marriage proposal. Accept means not including. Everyone failed the course except Juliet. Adapt. Adopt. Adapt means to adjust. For example, Chinua Achebe's Things Fall Apart was adapted for screen. What this sentence means is that the novel, Things Fall Apart, was adjusted so that it could be acted like a movie. So that is the meaning of the word adapt. Adopt means to choose as one's own or to accept. The missionaries adopted the orphans. They took them as their own children. Advice. Advice. The difference between these two words are the letters C and S. While the first word has C before E, the second one has S before E. Some usually think the difference is because of the British and American difference in spellings. But it is not really so. Advice is a noun. And it means counsel given to someone. For example, John humbly accepted the advice. Advice is a verb. It means to give counsel. The mechanic advised me to sell the car. Affect. Effect. Affect is to move or influence. For example, the death of his wife affected him so much. Effect can be a noun or a verb. As a verb, it means to bring about. As a noun, it means the result of an action. For example, the politicians tried to effect a change in the electoral guidelines. The effect of COVID-19 on the economy is devastating. Already, already. Already means all are ready, completely prepared. For example, the players were all ready for the match. This sentence means that as individuals, all the players are ready for the match. Already means previously. The soldiers were already outside when the bomb went off. All together, all together. All together means as a group. For example, let's sing the chorus all together. All together means completely. For example, the accusations are altogether false. Boru, lend. Boru means to receive something on loan. For example, she borrowed 200,000 naira from the bank. Lend means to give out temporarily. For example, please. Can you lend me three pounds? 
Now, you will notice that when we are talking about the person receiving, you use borrow. When you are talking about the person giving, you use lend. Choose. Choose. Choose is a verb. And it means to decide or to prefer. For example, you will have to choose between soccer and athletics. Choose is past tense form of choose. For example, he chose athletics. Desert. Desert. These two words are very similar in spelling, except that the second one has double S, while the first one has only one S. But let's focus on that first one first that have one S. It can mean two things. One, desert means a dry, sandy, barren region. For example, the illegal immigrants died in the Sahara Desert. The second use of the word is pronounced desert. Desert. Desert means to abandon. For example, the workers deserted the factory. Now, let's go to the second one that has double S. Desert means the last course in a meal. You know, in proper meal arrangement, we have three courses. The first one is the appetizer. The second one is the main course. And the last one is the dessert, the one we are referring to now. It can be just a sweet or a pie. For example, Obi left before the dessert was served. Differ from, differ with. Differ from means to be dissimilar. For example, this year's party will differ from that of last year. Differ with means to disagree with. I differ with her on the issue of death penalty. Further, further. The difference is that the first one has A after the F, while the second one has U after the F. Further refers to distance. The canoe drifted further away. Further refers to something additional. For example, this suggestion needs further deliberation. Here, here. If you remove edge from the first word, you have ear. And that tells you what it means. Hear means to listen, to get what is being said. For example, did you hear what I said? Hear means in this place. For example, park the car here. It's, it's. The difference is the apostrophe in the second one. Though very small, but with apostrophe, you've changed entirely what you have in mind. It is a possessive pronoun. For example, Kenya is known for its variety of wildlife. It with apostrophe is a shortened form or contraction of it is or it has. For example, it's wonderful working with you. This is a contraction. What the full sentence will have been is, it is wonderful working with you. 
But when we talk, when we speak, most times we don't really say everything. We contract some of the words. So that is why we do have words like it's. Lose, lose. Lose means to misplace or to suffer the loss of something. You will lose your phone if you charge it there. Lose means free or not fastened. I need the screwdriver to lose the screws. Peace. Peace. Peace means calm or quiet. For example, now that the war is over, we can enjoy peace. Peace means a section or part. For example, he gave me a piece of cola nut. Principal, principal. Principal means chief or central importance or head of a school. For example, our school's principal is very strict. Principal means basic truth or standard or fundamental law. Honesty is the best principle. Quiet. Quiet. The difference between these two words depends on where you place the E, the letter E. When you place E before T, it becomes quiet. When you place E after T, it becomes quiet. Quiet means freedom from noise and disturbance. For example, I like reading in the library because it is always quiet. Quiet means almost complete or truly. Example, I am quite sure the striker will play the final. Several, severally. Several can be a pronoun or an adjective. When it is a pronoun, it means more than two, but not very many. For example, I have read several books by Chinua Achebe. But when several is an adjective, it means separate. For example, after the meeting, we went our several ways. This sentence means after the meeting, we went our separate ways. Now, severally, you will notice that the suffix ly have been added to it. Severally is used for the second definition, not the first one I gave. Remember, the first one I said is referring to few times. But for the second one, we said it means separate. So when we say severally, we are referring to separately, differently, not in terms of times or frequency. Now look at this example that is wrong. He played for Manchester United severally before signing for Chelsea. This expression is wrong because the writer of this, of this sentence wants to tell us that this player played for Manchester United few times before signing for Chelsea. But using that word severally makes the sentence wrong because what it means is separately. For example, if I say he played for Manchester United separately before signing for Chelsea, you won't understand what it means. 
So, severally in this sentence is wrong. And the reason is because the writer used the first definition of several for the severally he's using. Now look at the correct one. Though we live in the same apartment, we pay our rents severally. In this sentence, the writer is not talking about how frequent, the number of times they pay their rent. No. Rather, he is saying that he pays his own rent separately while his apartment mates also pay his own separately. And that is correct. So be careful when you want to use the word severally. Make sure you are using it appropriately. Stationary. Stationary. Stationary means fixed or unmoving. For example, the car was stationary when the lorry smashed it. Which means the car was not moving. Stationary means paper. Sometimes it can generally refer to writing materials. For example, his wife owns a stationary store in the market. There, dear. There means belonging to them. For example, the rain forced people into their homes. Dear refers to a place. Let's meet dear by 12 noon. Whose? Whose? Whose is the possessive form of who? The man whose son missed the penalty kick was attacked. Whose is the contraction for who is or who has? For example, who is going to take the free kick? The full form of this sentence is who is going to take the free kick? But when we speak, like I mentioned earlier, we do some contractions. So that is why you have expressions like who is going to take the free kick. Thanks for watching this video. If you are yet to subscribe to this channel, please do so. I will leave you today with the words of former Lord Chancellor of England, Henry Peter Broham, who once said, and I quote, Education makes a people easy to lead, but difficult to drive. Easy to govern, but impossible to enslave. Of quote. Bye-bye.